On the week of Juneteenth, a time designated to remember the end of slavery in the mid-1800s in the United States, we can stand here today as a beacon of light. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People gathered shoulder to shoulder at the Global Faith's headquarters in Salt Lake City. Leaders of the church have found common ground with the NAACP as we have discussed challenges that beset some of God's children. The challenges are huge and our capacities are limited, but together we want to make a difference. Today, we are pleased to announce three key initiatives that have emerged from our many discussions and prayerful planning. First, educational scholarships overseen by the United Negro College Fund to help young black students in the United States. The church has made a commitment of $1 million a year for the next three years. I am pleased to announce a one-time donation of $250,000 to create an Amos C. Brown Student Fellowship to Ghana. Humanitarian efforts will be focused to bring relief to suffering souls in underprivileged areas of the United States. We will help to teach the important principles of self-reliance. We have committed $2 million per year for the next three years to encourage service and help to those in need. These efforts represent an ongoing desire of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to teach and live the two great commandments to love God and neighbor. We are honored to join with our dear friends from the NAACP and the UNCF to announce these goals and our shared vision. We are the church, we are the NAACP, we are God's people. This announcement today can allow us to stand proudly together from various backgrounds, from various communities, from across the country so others can really say, I see the Christ in them. The joint statement was reminiscent of the group's news conference in May of 2018. We are impressed to call on people of this nation and indeed the entire world to demonstrate greater civility, racial and ethnic harmony, and mutual respect. A brother of another mother. Hello, Amos. Good to see you. In July of 2019, President Nelson spoke at the NAACP's 110th National Convention in Detroit, where he reminded attendees that differences need not undermine society's shared humanity. We don't have to be alike or look alike to have love for each other. We don't even have to agree with each other to love each other. If we have any hope of reclaiming the goodwill and sense of humanity for which we yearn, it must begin with each of us, one person at a time. A year later, he and NAACP leaders penned a national op-ed on how to build greater understanding, overcome prejudice, and address the intolerable sin of racism. And I want to acknowledge in my remarks that you are the quintessential embodiment of the best leadership in the faith community of the United States of America anywhere to be found south of heaven, north of hell. We have labored together in the spirit of friendship and common purpose to find ways to increase understanding and to bless the lives of our black brothers and sisters throughout areas like education and humanitarian efforts. I think it's a message of unity. I think it's a message of collaboration and hope. And we really hope to inspire through this partnership. Um, people who are different can come together and do great things. And we think that transformation is really possible. And we want to be a model. We want people to look at this and say, wow, wow, we too can do this. It demonstrates how we can all live 
in harmony if we work hard at it and put down our fears and increase our ability to have dialogue.